what is up guys it's your boy JDL with another quick tutorial today I'm gonna show you how to keep libraries from disappearing in contact 5 <clears throat> okay so got your contact 5 installed now first thing you want to do is make sure that contact 5 runs as administrator now you can do this by right clicking on the contact 5 icon go to properties then you go to compatibility and then make sure this is checked okay then you press apply and then okay so we're going to open up contact 5 we're going to add a library go to libraries here then you click on add library now before I add a library I'm going to show you something real quick this is where I stored the instruments that I downloaded, I downloaded two instruments and I stored them over here. It doesn't really matter where you store them. But the important thing is um, for contact to read the library, it has to has a has to have a NICNT file. As you can see, Native Instruments West Africa has an NICNT file. And output exhale has a NICNT file. So that's what you need for contact to read the library of the instrument you downloaded. Okay, we're gonna close this. Right, so we're gonna add library. So I'm just gonna go back to where I stored my instruments that I downloaded. For here. So first thing we're gonna add native instruments west africa so you're just going to click on the folder then you're going to click ok and there you go it's added to the library <coughs> now what happens when i close contact 5 and i open it again <coughs> the library is gone and i don't want that now I'm going to show you in the music making software that I use. I use Magic's Music Maker 2015. It doesn't matter which one you use, if you use Fruity Loops or Studio One or Sonar or Pro Tools, it should all be the same. But I'm going to open this up real quick because I use Magic's. Okay, so I'm going to load up Contact 5 because I already loaded it in the Magix Music Maker 15. So I'm going to just double click it to open it. As you can see, it's not here either. And even if I try to add it, Native Instruments, West Africa, I get these errors. So this isn't gonna work either so I'm just gonna close this close this so don't save so what we're gonna do is we're gonna open this again okay we got it open so we're just gonna do the same thing add library go to the folder where you stored your instrument that you downloaded okay we're gonna do this now if you minimize this close out your folders you're going to notice that there's a file here called sc3.tmp. What you want to do is you want to click on this and change the TMP to XML. And if you actually change, you press yes. Now, yours might not appear like this. I put Notepad as a default app to open XML files. So if yours is just still blank, don't worry about it. That's completely fine. Uh, what you, the other thing that you want to do is rename this to whatever name you like because every time you add an instrument it's going to give you the same SC3 name and you don't want these files overriding each other so we're going to call this West Africa. <coughs> okay so the next thing you want to do is right click, cut this, actually going to move it, you're going to go to computer local disk then you go to program files common files native instruments service center and then you're going to paste it in here 
Now, if you plan on adding more libraries later and you think you won't remember this patch, you can always, you know, just create a shortcut to your desktop. You know, make it easy. Then you just click on this, and whenever you add a library, just paste it in here. Okay, so we did that. I'm gonna close this. I'm gonna open it again. And there you have it. it it's still there, it didn't leave, so this works. Now we're gonna do the same with the other instrument that I downloaded. That's output exhale. Okay, click on the folder and then press OK. Okay, I have your library there. Minimize this, minimize this. You're gonna see this file again on your desktop. It's gonna rename this to XML. Yes. And then we're gonna rename this to output exhale. Alright, I gotta cut this and put it in the same folder. Local disk, program files, common files, native instruments, surface center. Paste it right here. Alright, we're gonna close this up. So I'm gonna close this. And we're gonna open it again just to be sure. And there you have it. My, my libraries are still there, they haven't gone anywhere. Okay, that's good. Okay, I'm gonna close this. Now I'm gonna go into my music making software. Like I said before, it doesn't matter if you use Magix or Fruity Loops or Pro Studio or Sonar, they should all have the same result. Alright, we're gonna load up Contact 5 again. And there we go, my instruments are still here. I can access them whenever I want. I don't have to worry about them disappearing again and whenever you want to add another library to contact 5 just follow the same steps and there should be no problem so yeah i hope this tutorial works for you and if it does leave a thumbs up and yeah that's it